have a look on uh, what exactly a synthesis process is. Now uh, we can see here from the model as shown here where we have the inputs going to the synthesis. Uh, let us see here. Very long HTL model which goes as input uh, to the synthesis and we can see here this uh, uh, synthesis, this model how it shows. It consists of synthesis and then the RTL module builder where the inputs are uh, HTL model and then the target technology and then the area and the timing constraints. And combining all these things here we get an unoptimized gate level netlist which goes as input here to the logical optimizer and ultimately the result is an optimized gate level netlist. So uh, this is what uh, we need, right, in return. I mean, uh, from starting from the, the uh, synthesis model, how things are happening, uh, including so many inputs of uh, different types, and then uh, we get an optimized gate level netlist first, and then combine it later with these area and timing constraints using an optimizer. So uh, what is your view about this? Well, uh, logic synthesis is a process of converting a high-level description of a design into an optimized level of repre representation. Well, uh, RTL level means uh, it is used to it is used for a HDL uh, hardware descriptive language description style, which utilizes a combination of data flow and behavioral constructs. Uh, it means uh, uh, RTL is nothing but uh, just like a uh, code which are written for a given program. And after that, after synthesis, uh, given there would be a standard l cell library and there are certain design constraints, like uh, as you uh, mentioned earlier, like area and timing, con area and timing constraints, uh, which we need to uh, take care of. And also about the technological library which are uh, present. I mean, these standard cell library is also known as uh, technology library. And see, uh, given the uh, very low code with that first we given the um, RTL uh, re register transfer level um, code we would synthesize it with the available target technology after uh, getting um, on the targeted technology area uh, it might be a um, hundred nanometer technology or, uh, depends upon the uh, uh, user specification uh, which is being provided and it also depends upon the area, how much area it occupies and uh, the timing co constraints, like how much uh, time it is requiring for an input for input and output. So this timing is very important to understand. Yes. And uh, if there isn't, if there is any uh, violation of area and timing constraint, then again, it goes for uh, uh, RTL module builder. And if it is uh, unoptimized, then it will go for logic optimizer. See, in logic optimizer is nothing but it would uh, optimize the code which we have written. That's right. And uh, are there, according to you, any delays which occur here? Like doing all these things uh, when we look on to especially the timing constraints. Hmm? So what's your idea about it? Uh, logic optimizer. Logic optimizer is now uh, there are different types of optimization. Um, as I told earlier, it would be uh, the optimization would be a logic optimization or it might be in a register transfer level optimization. Uh, depending upon the optimization optimization which are which are available uh, with the user uh, with the user, uh, the logic optimization is nothing but the reduction of the or uh, reduction or the remove uh, removing unwanted logics L like like if there there is a code in a very log some like uh, if there is an addition or multiplication which is going on in a very log program suppose n which is equal to m plus 1 in one uh, procedural block it would be the value of n is m plus 2 and in other procedural block, it would be n is equal to m plus 3. So in the logic optimization, what it does is it assigns the value of n which is equal to m plus 5. So it takes care of each and every um, arithmetic operation first. Then it goes to the loops. If there are any loops, it takes all the action on the loops at, at a particular instant of time. Uh, so this is a speciality of an hardware uh, language where the where the operation h happens to be on a concurrent basis and the other uh, optimization is uh, 
RTL uh, register transfer level uh, optimization in this optimization all the uh, unconnected gates are uh, optimized I mean uh, if there are certain gates which are not used in a particular design in the next in the the design is uh, optimized so that the same unconnected gate can't be used uh, won't be used for the next module and hence uh, Res uh, listening the circuits. Well, so that's uh, quite clear from here. Yeah, and uh, what else like uh, you have in mind? Yeah, also I mean uh, in this optimization, uh, what the designer should be making sure that uh, uh, he shouldn't be keeping any unconnected ports. Unconnected ports, it means. In SE, uh, so if you take an example of a um, TTL, there you can't keep unconnected ports open. Either you have to ground it or give a supply. If you leave the uh, the ports open in TTL, uh, it would be as it would it would be as an oscillator and produce an unpredictable result. And in case of uh, application specific integrated circuits, uh, it would add a noise capacitance uh, which would really hamper the performance of a circuit so it is if it's one or two it's it is it is advisable to connect all the input output ports and not to leave open